Well, tonight the NBA hosted its first ever pitch competition. It's where eight black entrepreneurs competed for their share of $100,000, so quite a bit of money there. As new special Andrew Adams shows us, Utah was certainly well represented. Andrew? Well, they really were, Mike. Uh, four of the eight entrepreneurs are based here in Utah as that loud tracks goes behind me there. The eventual winner was also based here in Utah. She took home $50,000 in a competition that showed just how much talent exists in this state. The stage was imposing and big names were watching. Drivers are key to keeping the industry moving. As up and coming business owners made their cases. And provides businesses with the necessary analytics. And the judges grilled them with their toughest questions. Can you expand on the nuance of the problem within that industry specifically? It was the first ever all-star pitch competition featuring eight black entrepreneurs from around Utah and across the country. We're talking directly to young black entrepreneurs, business people, and saying we need to find more opportunities. That's something this league can engage in. Commissioner Adam Silver says the NBA Foundation was set up to facilitate opportunities like this one that saw the entrepreneurs compete over $100,000 they could put toward their goals. We will wax just about anything on just about everybody. Local Jenna White was among the four entrepreneurs from Utah trying to stake their claims. We know that, that that talent exists everywhere, and I think what the state can learn is that you have to really intentionally go out and find folk because we know the genius and opportunity is there. The winner of first ever NBA Foundation All-Star Pitch Competition goes to Jenna White. <laughs> In the end, it was White's waxing concept that cleaned up the first place 50K. Utah needs to recognize, like, we have incredible black businesses here. And we don't get, you know, the, the exposure that we deserve. White hoped the money would simply help her business grow. And then Utah County, and then Davis County, and then Weber County, and then the world. Yes. Yeah. Empire Body Waxing only founded in 2020, so heck of a jump start. Three years in, variety of different business concepts out there. One involves contactless payments, another involves a system to recruit truck drivers.